John, thanks. Well, the record-breaking temps have been a rare treat for the usual February blues. Ben Jordan is live at Bradford Beach where people were out earlier soaking. It's hard to see in the background, <laughs> but I'm sure there are people walking out still enjoying the weather. Yeah, Charles and Shannon, Bradford Beach is still rather busy for a February night. As you can see, a couple dozen still remain thrown around the Frisbee. Just a fraction of the crowds that were here earlier, all out enjoying spring-like weather before winter makes its painful return. For February 22nd, Bradford Beach could easily be mistaken for Southern California. The waves weren't the only thing crashing into Lake Michigan. Chad Tracy and his friends were a few of the brave to take a frigid dip. Everyone's like, what the, What are you doing here? <laughs> like, I'm like, going in the water. <laughs> Over here at UWM, this weather calls for shorts and shades. Freshman Nathaniel Featon says 70 degrees is worthy of his best moves. This weather, it's sensational brings a smile to my face. A short trip over to Lake Park. Walkers were out to catch more than rays with phones in hand. There's 80 new Pokemon they just added, so now we're out collecting them. There was so many people here, and then somebody yelled out one of the new Pokemon, and you just saw this flood of people going to the left, and then a flood of people going to the right. Over here at Lincoln Park Golf Course, the conditions are perfect, but the swings will let you decide. The course packed from tea to green with a 30 minute wait for many to hit their first shot. It's unbelievable. Does your boss know you're at the golf course right now? Mine does actually. I can't t talk about those guys. Some who still had to clock in like Joshua Latterman. But we're out here working. Found a nice patio to be able to enjoy this rare treat of what's supposed to be a winter day. I just yearn for better weather all the time and uh, we're soaking it up today. And we caught up with a lot of people today. Everyone I spoke with can agree on one thing. It's going to be very difficult to get the winter coats back out and possibly even the shovels after a day like today. Reporting live at Bradford Beach, Ben Jordan, today's TMJ4. All right, Ben, thanks. Well, a dog